Hello there. This is Jules, and today I am playing Kind Words with the subtitle Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Write. Obviously an allusion to that, that famous YouTube channel, Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Relax Study To. You know, the one that has the little anime girl writing, taking notes with the headphones on, cat on the windowsill, and it's just like a live channel where they just play lo-fi hip-hop music like 24-7. I, I love that channel actually, I put it on when I'm cleaning. Anyway, uh, this, this is a very interesting little game. It came out uh, 12th of September 2019, so pretty much two and a bit weeks uh, from the date I am recording this, which is October 2nd. Um, second? <laughs> Sorry, it's real early this morning. Anyway, t to be honest, this is the second time I'm recording the intro because uh, the first time I left the little counter the timer of the record up in the top corner where the mouse is kind of blah 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 hearing here up in the corner yeah so i'm just re-recording it anyway so uh what is kind words anyway um this game is about writing nice letters to people uh writing and receiving encouraging letters in a cozy room i'm reading off the steam page right now so you can trade stickers and listen to chill music we're all in this together. Sometimes all you need are a few kind words. Yeah. So uh, this game has gotten overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. Uh, I first heard about it on, uh, I think it was the Jimquisition podcast. Um, uh, pretty much you can read like anonymous letters from people around the world who are, you know, maybe having a rough go of it. A little bit of uh, trouble in their life, feeling lonely, just want some support, and you can reply to them anonymously with some words of encouragement, something, something nice to brighten their day. Um, yeah, you can also write your own letters and get replies from people yourself, uh, supporting you, making you feel better. And I thought that would sound like a really interesting experience to play. So here I am playing it. Uh, this. I think this game was only about seven, seven or eight dollars, so uh, that's less than a few cups of coffee. <laughs> uh, that's not a very good analogy. Yeah, anyway, anyway, shall we just jump right into it already? I think we should. Hello, I'm Ella, and I'm new in town. I'm your new male dear. I'm your first mail, dear? My job is to carry letters back and forth between people who need cheering up. Oh. Which is everybody! Yes, everybody needs some cheering up now and then. Because everybody gets sad or scared. I'm just gonna let the dear talk. Dear seems to put it in better words than me. I'm even a little nervous about my new job here. I don't suppose you'd write me an encouraging note, please? Then I deliver it to myself and feel better at my job. Aww. Dear, dear. 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 You are so dear. Dear. Dear me. I hope you will be happy in this new job. I ran out of ways to use the word dear. Sincerely. Oh, Jake Jules. Okay. Just a small comment. Okay, wait, let's go. What a kind letter, thank you. Before I register you with the post office, I need to make a couple of things super clear. Kind Words is full of real people talking about real problems. This is not a place for mean jokes, bullying, or flippant responses. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking would happen. Also, this isn't a place to meet people. Don't share any identifying details or links. I do what I can to keep this safe, caring place. But I'm only one, dear. You may run into a jerk or some bad advice, please report them. Okay. If you're ready to be kind and receive kindness in return, please sign here. 
My name is Jules. That's a me. Nice to meet you, Jules. Give me a second to register you with the post office. Okay, I've given him a second. All set. Now, if you want letters, all you have to do is ask for them. Okay. Maybe you're worried about something just like I was with this job? It can be scary, but don't be afraid to ask people for help. See you soon. Okay. Cool. So anyway, here we are in the room. Ooh, we can rotate the room a little bit, but it always snaps back into place. There are a lot of letters floating around here. Can I click on one of them? Yes, I can. Do yourself a favor and stop letting fear hold you back. Life is short. Don't be scared to put yourself out there. Talk to people and try to get involved. You won't regret it. Good advice. It's from Safi. They said not to put any details on it, but uh, this person went ahead and did it. So these are the options you can do. You can view requests, make a request, say nice things. There's an inbox, decorate, help, and more. So, all right, so the first thing I'm, I just want to comment is, oh, okay, so you can actually choose the music here if you click the radio. How to set it. Jeez, okay. That was fluorescent lavender. Clark Abood. Okay, so this was the uh, actual title screen music pushing up. I'm going to put the volume down. If you're playing this, uh, when you actually play this, the first thing you notice is that the volume is super loud. Even when you put your, even when I put my volume like really, really down, the the music was just so blaring. It's supposed to be like relaxing music, and I found it was actually making me pretty, <sighs> pretty like worked up. I wouldn't actually call it lo-fi music as well. It's very chilled, but it's definitely not lo-fi music. The uh, lo-fi music is a lot, I don't know, grimier, I found. Uh, also, the the spectrum of sound is a lot more simplified. This These tracks, while they're like chilled, they have like a, like I feel like there's a broader, sound to them like a lot more instrument a lot more ambience and reverb and stuff um lo-fi it's like very there's like a low pass filter on the drums anyway um let's just get back to the game uh so epic gamer is saying i am lonely that's it i just need you just need a to get that out there best wishes epic gamer let's Let's reply to him. You're gonna write your first letter, how exciting! Remember, you can't solve everyone's problem, but you can always let people know you hear them and that they are not alone. Oh, and while people can't reply to your letter, they can thank you with a sticker. Hey, epic gamer. Don't worry about it. Everyone feels lonely sometimes, or maybe some, maybe some feel lonely <laughs> all of the time, but just know you are not alone. I hope this is good advice. And there are many others that feel the same. Uh, this is terrible advice. I'm going to take this back. All right. Hey, Epic Gamer. Good on you for... Uh, far, far out. You know, writing... I didn't realize writing nice notes to someone would be so hard. I mean, this seems like a simple comment. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't require a reply, but, um, see, oh gosh, am I, am I thinking about this too long? I've spent so long on this already. Just f trying to say something nice to Epic Gamer. I feel lonely too? Look, I, I, I don't really feel lonely at the moment, but uh, that feels so disingenuous. I'm really overthinking it. 
Oh my gosh. Who would have thought that... Maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah, I'm just going to send this out. Yeah. Alright, thank you for taking your time about a s talking to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. Jesus Christ, man. Count on me to deliver, but also, uh, can I share something with you? It's not officially part of my job. I've got this hobby, can I tell you? Think you'll dig it. I've been making mixtapes, one song at a time. I've discovered Lift You Along by Clark Abood yesterday. It's so chill. I hope you like it. Don't forget, you can click on the radio to change the music. Yeah, I already did that. I'll be back with another song tomorrow. Okay. Okay, I feel real dissonance between my mind and my heart. I understand that I need a GF, but I hate local people. In my country, most people are so rude and ignorant. I can't trust them, so I go alone, and it kills me every day. What's wrong with me? Or is it they? <laughs> um, look. I don't know if I can answer this one. I'm gonna just try another one. I sacrificed my circle life for my education, and with that I drifted away from my friends. I'm introverted, so I enjoy being alone, but sometimes I feel lonely and I wish I had a close friend to talk to. I hope it gets better in the future. Someone else named M. Okay, there's a lot of loneliness out there. Left a higher paying retail job to work from home. I make less money now and constantly feel bad that I'm not bringing in more money. My wife is supported and I think Oh, about it, since I didn't like my old job, but it still bothers me a lot of the time. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's some heavy stuff going on here. Oh, give me that victory royale. Ralph Sos okay. This seems very targeted. <laughs> it's been a really r tough two weeks. I hit lows I never felt I would before. It's hard to admit when you're struggling, especially to those who know you most. What can I do? to settle my mind, my heart, my lack of sleep. Wow, this, this person got very poetic. Wow. I, I feel bad for moving on, but it's been a tough year. Broke up with my five years girlfriend, my best attempt, uh, friend attempted suicide. Work's been hard lately, and although I was always in a great condition, now my body's starting to take a toll. I just wanted to be safe. Someone else named M. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, I think M is just the first name of whatever name you put out there. Yeah. yeah, except for that one. I thought everyone was just putting M there, but I think the username is the first letter here. That makes more sense. Except for that person named Safi who just wrote their name in there. Anyway, uh, I'm feeling a bit lonely today and I'm, it's making me miss my ex, who I can't reach out to. Rough. Uh, let's try and reply to this one. Hey, R. Hey, look. Being lonely and missing your ex, that's totally a thing, but don't reach out. Stay strong. Try keeping yourself occupied. Maybe with something. Maybe with something you enjoy doing like playing encouraging video like playing maybe not encouraging video i was going to try and be clever and say keep playing this kind words game okay like playing something you enjoy doing whatever and the feeling and I hope the feeling will pass. I'm not going to say it will pass. And I'll put more smileys. Uh, I don't know if this is good advice, I'm just going to send it. Yeah, send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. Are you going to say that every time? Yeah, you're going to say that every time. Oh, it's a cat thing. My sweet little kitty has sarcoma. It's inoperable and at this point I know I'll have to say goodbye soon. Oh, she's such a silly cat and a granny at that. I will miss her so much. She's been with me for such a long time. Uh, I'm going to reply to this one because I know the feeling. I lost a dog last year. Uh, she was old as well, but we had to let her go on Christmas Eve of all times. Her name was Sophie 
and she was the best dog ever. Anyway, uh, hey S, do I really need to start with hey S? I feel like that's more personal. Okay, um, that is so sad to hear. I myself lost a pet recently, so I n know the feeling. Uh, it's l losing a precious family member and it is so difficult. Stay strong. Stay strong and be comforted in the fact that you gave her a wonderful, loving home. Okay, that's enough. All the... Oh, wait. Ten, okay, all the best. Smiley face. Okay, I think this is actually a good... Good one. I'm happy with this one. Like, yeah, okay. Okay, dear. I get it. Yes, I can count on you. Very good. Ooh, someone sends their thanks for a letter you wrote and... Oh, I got a new sticker. I got Kitten Plunk. A kitten that flies and drops marbles. Cool. Can I decorate my room with Kitten Plunk? Yes, I can. Kitten Plunk. Show? Oh. <gasps> oh, I got some sort of soft toy animal. Yeah. Oh, I can click it and it kind of bounces. That's nice. All right. I'm going to try and make a request. This is your first request for letters, so I'm pr I'm so proud of you. Remember these kind folks are still strangers, so on the internet, don't reveal anything too specific about who you are. Do not share links or usernames. Okay, yeah. But do share what's on your mind that people can sympathize or maybe even share something similar they struggle with. Maybe something like, I'm sad I haven't made any friends at my new job. I've got a date Saturday and I'm sure I'm going to screw it up. Whatever you're going through, you're probably not the only one. Oh, there's like a button for mental health resources here too. This is... I, I quite like this game. It seems like a very supportive environment. Well, potentially. I haven't actually received any replies yet for what I'm going to write anyway. Should I write something serious or something actually bothering me? Let's see where my hands take me. I was going to say, like, I, I'm going through some life changes and it's affecting my behavior at work. I'm just going to get more specific. <laughs> it's, it's sort of true. I don't know. Um, I feel like recently I've become a bit of a pill to work with. Anyway, I have been a little stressed lately and it has caused me to lash out at work. I feel really bad about it, but that just sends me into a spiral or a, a circle of more lashing out. Oof. I mean, that's it's sort of, I, I feel like that sounds worse than it is, but it's true. I've been kind of stressed lately and lashing out at people at work. They're really understanding, but uh, I do feel bad about it because that's, that's really not me. It's just how I've been dealing with a circle of more lashing out. And then I feel even worse. And then I feel even worse. Uh, that's pretty simple enough. Let's send it. Yes, I do. Send. You wrote a request. I will run this right over to the post office to be soft copied and sent all over the world. Let's share your problems with everyone possible. Anyway, they may even send you a sticker. Okay. Oh, you can actually add stickers. I haven't been adding stickers. I should add stickers to someone. Oh, okay. Wait, why did I go there? Okay. Well, um, I'm going to do one more request. Oh, view one more request and then... Uh, Hopefully someone would have replied by then. 
Hello everyone, not really here to share my problems, but just sharing some thoughts maybe. What's the first thing you think about when I say love? Bye. Update. We asked the girl out. Took all my courage. Oh, okay, good. Whatever the outcome, at least I've got you guys for comfort. Oh, good for you, dude. A lot of relationships things here. I don't feel like I'm qualified to give proper advice. It's, I feel like it's a really sensitive thing. I had a bit, a bit injury on Sunday night and I am lying at home and I feel a bit alone. Sometimes, I sometimes write people over messenger but I still feel alone. Can you show me your support? That seems simple enough. I had a bit injury, what does that mean? Hey. Hey. Hey, S. <laughs> I always start it with saying, hey, whatever. Um, don't worry. You've got us peeps on uh, kind words to keep you company. S stay strong. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's it's becoming a bit of a joke of me saying stay strong, but like, you know, they're they're good words. Stay strong. Um, it kind of implies that you are already strong to the other person and gives them a bit of encouragement rather than be strong, which kind of has the uh, underlying I don't know message of that person not being strong already and you're telling them to be strong stay strong is like you're already strong you've got that strength just keep that strength anyway that's me analyzing language here anyway i will send oh i will add a sticker i only have cat plunk or whatever it is anyway send yes thank you for taking the time yeah okay yeah you're rushed out you can help me to lower the trap okay Let's see if someone's replied to me yet. Kind words. Okay, full history. Your request. Yeah, no one's replied to me yet. Maybe I'll come back later today. Actually, I will. I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym now. <laughs> because the gym's just opened. It's like 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, I couldn't sleep. That's why I'm playing this game. Anyway, I'll go to the gym, come back, and maybe someone will have written me a letter. Alright, I'll see you in like one second okay so i'm back from going to the gym where i pretty much just walked on a treadmill and lift a one kilogram weight anyway enough about my personal life i've received thanks for the letter i wrote and i got a new sticker trouser fish grow grow <laughs> gross I don't know, that sounds gross. He would very much appreciate if you turned the radio on and left it alone. Okay, so he doesn't like to be touched. I can relate to that. Oh, he came through my window and someone wrote me a letter to my I'm stressed at work thing. Okay, so my request, I've been a little stressed lately. You saw what I did. Let's see what D had to say. Away from work, it would help if you could write down what it is making you stressed. Is it something at work you can change someone? If you enact change on your work environment to improve things for yourself, then try to enact a plan to do that. With help from anyone at work who can promote your cause. Okay. Sometimes, however, there might be no path to change, so perhaps you could look at moving to another job. Don't let the stress of trying to change the unchangeable burn you out further. Step back, reassess, life is short. Kiss hug from D. Ah, oh, that looks really nice. Um, <laughs> work is actually fine uh, it's just like other stuff that has been stressing me a little but uh, I really appreciate the thought I will say thanks with a sticker I hope he has cat plunk because that's all I got or she I hope they like the sticker okay let's see what else people say wow there are so many <laughs> letters for me let's just go through a couple more <laughs> Stress makes me lash out too. It can be really hard to deal with sometimes. For me, it always helps when I can acknowledge that I'm lashing out and it usually gives me more pause before I react to something. Hope you can de-stress soon, eh? Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, eh? <laughs> wow, I am... I feel so bad about the crappy two sentence letters that I sent people uh, but you know 
they probably put more thought than like 10 seconds into writing their letters. Let's see what else. Oh my gosh, there's like four more. Let's just see what else people have to say. Definitely open up to someone at work. A good workplace will listen to you and help you where they can. All right, cool. I'll send thanks with a pants sticker. Yes, done. I'll bet they'll love the sticker. Did I get whatever this T sticker is? I hope so. Uh, from B. Oh, I got a new sticker, model boat. All right. Bring the person you lashed out at a little gift like biscuits or something. And if you're embarrassed by it, about it, just leave a little sorry note on it. I'm sure they will appreciate immensely. Well, if that's the case, it would be everyone at work. You know, I still feel bad nonetheless. So I'll give him the trouser fish. Hopefully they don't have the trouser fish already. Yep, I hope they like the sticker. All right, let's, let's see the last one from M. Take a deep breath and explain, if you can, the situation to your coworkers. Also, f when you feel like lashing out, cut the conversation short and take some time to process what you are going to say. Yeah, that's, that's very good advice. Taking time, thinking things over rationally. Yeah. Okay. I gave him the boat, or her. I'm sending my thanks. Oh, okay, has the game crashed? I hope the game hasn't crashed. Oh no, oh, uh, sorry, something went wrong. Trying to send that sticker, unable to complete SSL connection. Oh. Well, did I send it? Oh, well. Anyway, wow, that was very nice. I, uh, got a few new stickers. Let's put the boat on the shelf, I guess. Show the boat. And then the trouser fish. I've got a trouser fish to show you. Oh. It's just a sticker in a in an aquarium. Okay, well, uh, what a what a really nice what a really nice little experience. Oh wait, I haven't tried say nice things. Okay, it's time to shout from the rooftops, write on a paper airplane, and send it flying through everyone's rooms. Tell everyone they are beautiful. Yell out your thanks. Inspire us all. Okay, got some love to spread. <laughs> Don't you know it? I've got plenty of love to spread. Anyway, uh, maybe a favorite quote. Okay. Um, wow. I, how how would I write something without sounding cheesy? Uh, oh, I'm gonna write my famous catchphrase: "Stay, stay strong." Uh, and I'll say something else other than "stay strong," and. Uh, know that we we are that we are all out here for you. That's sort of like a general for anyone who's playing this. Uh, to say that hey, other people playing this game are also here to support you or whatever. Folding paper, preparing for takeoff. Right. The good vibes. Oh, cool! They're flying through the air for everyone to catch now. That's fantastic. All right. Have I have I seen everything now? Yeah. Uh, why don't we catch an aeroplane before we leave? Always take care of yourself. Get a shower. <laughs> brush your teeth. Dress comfortably and eat some good food. Sending love your way, Safi. Geez, Safi, you're always putting your name on this. Uh. Thanks, Safi. I don't know. I feel like, uh, let's see if this one has an, a Safi again. Okay, I've only played this game for a few minutes and I've read, I already received so much love that had me grinning ear, from, to, ear to ear. Thank you all so much. All right. Well, uh, I think that probably wraps, wraps it up for kind words. Um, yeah, this is great. This is a great little game. It's not really a game anyway. It's more like a, a social experiment. I'm not sure if you'd call it an experiment, but uh, received a lot of positivity this way and trying to do my part not very well uh, I guess you know if you're playing it not to put on a YouTube you can probably take your time to write something really deep and meaningful but I'm just kind of just trying to just get a taste of it just to show people and bring awareness to this this little game sorry my dog and cat are having a little battle over there I'm getting distracted, um, but yeah, this is this is really good. I, I didn't expect it to actually be 
you know, actually this positive and people actually saying meaningful things. I half expected it to be abused. They have a really good system in keeping abusive stuff off. The people who want to play this game, who need this game, will find this game. And I hope it helps the people who do need this game. And uh, look, I, I reckon I'll probably come back just for my own mental health, maybe once in a while. Um, I hope I hope it I hope it sticks. I hope it keeps going for a long time, uh, because this game can only be supported by its user base. But you know, a, g a game like this isn't any real replacement for like proper, you know, mental health support. If you do have troubles in that area, you know, there are professionals that can help you. This game provides resources for that. I haven't actually clicked the link. Maybe it would be a good idea to click the link. Let's see, where is it? Make a real list. Mental health resources. Yeah, you've got a few links here. Checkpoint, take this. Uh, I've heard of Checkpoint, and there's also USA and uh, Australian resources. I, I really like this. Like, it. I can see why it's gotten overwhelming support on on Steam. Uh, what more else is there to say about it? Uh, yeah, it's been a really nice time playing this. If I had any criticism, and it's such a minor snobbish, you can dislike me for saying this, but the music is not lo-fi chill hop, uh, lo oh, lo-fi music. It's chill music, it's really nice chill music, but it's not lo-fi. Definitely not lo-fi. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm just being a, a douche for no reason. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, definitely look into this if, you know, you're looking for a nice positive experience for yourself, or if you want to, you know, shine some light on someone else's darkness. Anyway, that's it from me. Until the next play, let's play, unboxing, whatever it is I put up. Uh, please like, subscribe maybe. Uh, I'm actually getting a few more subscribers than I thought. I was just doing this for fun, but you know, every so often another one, and now I'm up to 26. <laughs> yeah, anyway, thanks for your watching this time. Yeah, thanks for your watching this time, and I'll see you next time.